Good morning. Good morning. Do you remember singing the song, Jesus Loves Me, as a child? I'm sure we've all heard the song a hundred times, but have we ever really understood what the words really mean? We sing, Jesus loves me, this I know, but are we really grasping the true depth of God's love? In the book of Hosea, we see a story that represents God's limitless and relentless love for the people of Israel. God gave a man named Hosea instructions to marry a prostitute, and he obeyed. His unfaithful wife, Gomer, leaves him and sees other men. Throughout the rest of the chapter, it goes on to tell us that Hosea would consistently try to get Gomer back, but failed every time. Hosea remained faithful, and eventually he redeemed his wife and brought her back home to him. In this incredible story, we see three things. The first thing is this. God never stops giving. God gives us so much more than we think. James 1 verse 17 says, Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9 says, No eye has seen, nor ear heard, or mind imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. Hosea consistently gave Gomer forgiveness again and again, just like God does for us. God never stops giving back. Time after time, over and over, he presents to you the opportunity to trust in and rest in his great love. He also gives grace unconditionally, regardless of our mistakes. Most people will say to give until you have nothing left, but God always has something to give us, whether it's advice, direction, peace, provision, or healing. The second thing is this, God never stops searching. In Exodus 14, 14, it says, The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. God wants you to get where he wants you to go way more than you want to get where God wants you to go. In the story of Hosea and Gomer, Hosea received a command from God to be faithful to his wife, no matter the cost. And he didn't hesitate. He responded to the call of God and searched for Gomer. God never gives up on us, just as Hosea never gave up on Gomer. And the last thing is this, God never stops loving. 1 John 4, 8 simply says that God is love. God loved us before we fell into sin, and he loves us in spite of our sin. We all want to be loved by someone. It's a basic human need. Much of the world around us is filled with judgment, criticism, and condemnation, but it's not filled with love. The world we live in says that they will only love us if we are rich enough or powerful or enough like them. But God says that he will love us no matter what. It's no coincidence that Jesus constantly talks about free, unlimited love. Ephesians 2 verse 4 says that God's love is a great love. It's a surpassing love, a love that knows no boundaries. God doesn't look at you and say, I'll love you if you do this, if you look like this, if you act like this. He loves us unconditionally. God loves us just the way we are, but he loves us way too much to let us stay that way. Throughout the Bible, hope is offered in many different ways. God says, into our emptiness, he brings fullness and completion. Into our deficit, he brings supply. Into our separation, he brings reconciliation. And into our imperfect love, he brings perfect love. Maybe you're sitting here today and you say, well, nobody really loves me. But in Jeremiah 31, verse 3, God says, I have loved you with an everlasting love. You say, I can't go on, but God says, my grace is sufficient. Maybe you say, I'm afraid of change. But in 2 Timothy 1, verse 7, the Lord says, for I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. You say, I feel so alone, but God is saying, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Jeremiah 29, 11. That's for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. God will never stop giving to you, searching for you, and loving you. Today, will you allow God to pour out his limitless love into your life? Or will you continue to sing the words that Jesus loves me and miss out on the true love and blessings that God has for us? Thank you.